I think we've got Ray Wong with us. Uh, yes, we do. All right, uh, Ray, I want to talk the 5G phone from Apple. Can you tell me what a 5G Apple phone would do for me? What would it do? Well, the new phone, actually, from what the anticipation is, like, it's going to have faster chips, right? It's going to have faster cameras, it's going to have a bigger screen size, it's going to give you more 5G services. And some of those 5G services allow you to stream video faster, allow you to take pictures and upload faster. It gives you the ability to actually act, you know, access more of Apple services, streaming videos and other things that they're pushing out. And so it's like the foundation for all the additional services that Apple has when it releases this hardware. But it's also not just the iPhone that's coming out, it's also potentially a HomePod and changes in the HomePod market, and that market is on fire. We're talking like $36 billion by 2025, and Apple is actually one of the underdogs in that market. Wait, 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 wait. A HomePod. You want to explain that one to me? It's smart speakers, right? We're talking about the oh. smart speaker market. We saw 100 million, like 100 million units sold in the U.S., 200 million globally. It's one of the toughest markets. It takes AI. It looks at your speakers. It's part of the you know, control part for your home automation and smart homes. I think I understand. Uh, I just uh, didn't realize that a home pod was all about smart speakers and artificial <laughs> intelligence. We, I just didn't cotton on to that. But if it's a big thing, I'll follow your example, right? Would you buy Apple at 122 right now? Would you buy it? Definitely, yes, because of the super cycle. You're looking at 360 million phones that are about to get changed through over the next year and a half. Um, that's out of the billion dollar base, but it's not just every phone that's sold, it's also going to be every one of these devices from smart watches, from the watch to the, you know, to the HomePod, as well as to you know, Apple TV. So don't know if they're going to release an Apple TV as well. So. All right, Ray, Ooh. Susan brought the stock down. You did not bring it back <laughs> up again, I regret to say, but uh, we'll see you again soon, Ray Wong. But always a pleasure. Thank you, Take Ray. Care. I do appreciate it.